Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios uh, photograph for today. A turbine um, scene in uh, one of the countrysides uh, called Shelburne. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com. That's I L M A A R T S dot com. And today I'd like to share with you my poem devotional extracted from Mark 10, 29 to 30. It says, Yes, Jesus replied, and I assure you that everyone who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or property for my sake and for the good news will receive now in return a hundred times. And here's my poem. A hundred times more. When you give your all to Jesus Christ, he will honor you and bless your life. For everything you give up for his sake, you will be given a hundred times more to take. When he asks you to sacrifice someone you treasure, trust him with all your heart, for he will reassure. Honor God by giving him what he requires. He will give back to you more than you can ever desire. And here's my essay. Have you ever been with someone who is generous? They make you feel so loved. On the other hand, a stingy person makes you feel worthless. God is the epitome of love and giving. He gave us everything he has, even his one and only begotten son. The Bible tells us God's assurance to those who would give up anything for his sake and the good news. His promise is a hundred times more for those who do everything to glorify him and his word. What an abundant promise. Prayer. Lord, I give you all I have. Reflection. Can you give up what you treasure most for God's sake and the gospel? Maybe I should um, answer that question. And actually, I did um, give up all the things I used to dwell so much in. Um, I became an artist, but then that became, you know, an impediment. It became an idol in my life when I started uh, painting because uh, back in the Philippines, I was able to sell a lot of my paintings. And when I came to Canada, it, it it's like God almost stripped me of this um, ability to sell a lot of my works. And um, so I became so frustrated, so angry. But I didn't realize that if I give my time to the Lord, just uh, reflecting on His Word, it will totally change my life. And it did. Because um, I may not be the richest person on earth, but um, I think I am in a way because God is just flowing out all the blessings of even writing a poetry every day for Him for almost three years now. And... Um, getting more hungry for him. I think that's a big gift uh, because not all people are hungry for the Lord and uh, for 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 him to give me a free course on Bible ministry online is another gift. It's a blessing. It's more than what I can imagine. And so even if I'm not really earning so much money, I know that I look up to that promise of God that he will, he will um, give me a hundred times more than what I, you know, I've given up and um, with this ministry that I um, have a channel of, of my testimonies about what God has done in my life and I think that this is one opportunity and one blessing that God has given me so that I could declare his glory and his power and his and his magnificence and his generosity and his love for us thanks for watching and I hope that you check my website at ilmaarts.com. That's I-L-M-A-A-R-T-S.com. Have a wonderful and blessed day.